Uh, yeah, this is Calcat the Calcatsters. The 1st of November, 2019, and this is a review of Terminator Dark Fate, which, uh, like the Halloween movie from a year and a half, two years ago, is a cold reboot, ignoring every movie past movie number two. I'm going to pretend like they never happened. It's like, oh, it's a convenient thing and just pretend they never happened. Uh, and, and movies such as War of the Machines and Salvation and Genesis never took place. Uh, they, they they get around this, uh, spoilers, uh, <laughs> uh, by dealing with a certain character immediately into the movie and establishing that that Skynet never became a thing and therefore the Resistance never became a thing. Then they jump right into okay, it's like in Mexico somewhere and there's this they're reduced to this uh, girl very similar to the one playing Thora the Explorer uh, very similar to the one in, in, in also in uh, Rambo for, uh, uh, Blood uh, Last Blood a very, similar, very similar plot to Rambo Last Blood with a little bit of a little bit of uh, Logan chucked in there Clearly inspired by Logan quite a bit, actually. Uh, there's even an enhanced humanoid in it. Comes to save the girl, uh, instead of the girl being the advanced humanoid. Uh, to, uh, the mutant. Um, uh, yeah, and, and Sarah Connor shows up, and she's like, basically old. She's in her 60s, uh, running around. Um, yeah, the, um, it ignores part two, and how they died at the end of that one. Um, yeah, and then ignores... Didn't she, I could have sworn there was one where she melted. So, they're ignoring that one, too. Um, there's one where the Terminator melted, and then one where she melts. Uh, yeah, so she should be gone, but apparently they're ignoring that. Um, uh, so, also, Skynet is gone, but this new group called Legion the 2040s is doing stuff. It's not connected to the Genesis, which would have been the bad guys in the last one. That's a... The, the, the computer game's going to take over the world. Now it's just sort of a random sort of defense thing, SDI thing that took over. Uh, yeah, it doesn't make a lick of sense. But it's a Terminator movie. It's about killer robots and a weird sort of uh, similar to a T-1000 and the one from the last one from Genesis and he can like uh, transform into whatever he's absorbing and also leave an endoskeleton next to him that one fights too Just, uh, yeah how does that work uh, yeah so he's two different creatures in one the bad guy of course Arnold is in it uh, look at, looking his age in his late 70s now <laughs> um, so so we have this sort of, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, the critics were half, about a third of them panning it. Oddly enough, only some of them were complaining about, oh, it's like a girl power movie. Some of them weren't. I think they would be, because that's what it is. Well, there's a man in it, but it's a girl power movie. Uh, I don't mind that, but uh, those those people out there, they, they mind that kind of thing. The internet. Um, psst, they wouldn't like that, because the last one was a boy, so now it's a girl. Um, psst, uh, the Genesis, they're ignoring Genesis, putting it in half. They're ignoring War of the Machines and Salvation with the, T the TX. This enhanced humanoid girl is kind of like the TX, though. She's basically a sort of faux TX. TX. A 101 thing. Or something. Anyway, the, uh, the original concept of Terminator goes back to... Twilight Zone and Outer Limits episodes, written by, uh, written by the late um, Harlan Ellison. And uh, Cameron's people did not acknowledge Harlan Ellison until he sued them. And then in the later ones, they said, oh, based on a story by Harlan Ellison. It totally is. Two stories, actually. The, the, the Glass Hand and uh, The Soldier. This one also seems to borrow liberally from... Uh, from the movie El Coyote, as well as some others, uh, some El Topo and El Sabra, also Logan, uh, with that whole the 
they were trying to sneak over the border to get to, and there's a cartel, uh, they think they're a cartel because the bad guy disguises himself as a uh, NSA guy to convince them that there's, even though that really wouldn't happen that way, but oh well, it's a movie, um, that, that they're bad guys and arrest them so they can go and kill them later. So he doesn't want to do it himself. Just hold them off, I guess, until later. Uh, they're... <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't want to give away many spoilers, but the movie's so confusing that probably not anyway. It does explain a few things, though, because, like, at the Comic-Con, Silicon Valley, there was sort of a, an NDA thing regarding the elements of this film from the preview that we got to see. Uh, <laughs> and a lot of what's in the preview and in the ads and the commercials is literally talking points in the movie, so seen the trailer, you've seen the talking points of the, the film all the way up to the end, pretty much. Um, <laughs> yes, there seems to be a fight in a, in a, in a, a jail, there seems to be a fight in a, in a, over at a dam area, sort of, kind of like the other ones. Uh, that was a power plant, but just a dam. Uh, there was a fight in a power plant, that have, or a factory, that happens earlier, that was kind of like the first one. A lot of, a lot of nods to the other ones. Um, Genesis was a mess, though. So this one is a little better. Um, yeah, the critics were were harsh to it. Probably the ones that hadn't seen it, though. Um, this is actually considerably, I guess, better than Genesis. Really, it's 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 better. It's on a par with Salvation, which was kind of a wreck. Um, War of the Machines. Is that the one with Anton Yelchin? Yeah, that wasn't too great either. Um, one and two were basically the ones to go to. And so everybody was thinking, you know, I think imagine, including the guy that was trying to be the scary Terminator dressed like him, ah, oh, traffic light. Make sure that there weren't any, uh, you know, with Comic-Con, the San Jose Comic-Con, that there weren't any um, people revealing the story. Uh, but it wasn't. Uh, I just saw the trailer like everyone else. Um, other than what was in the trailer, you're the future, or whatever, you know, it's in the trailer. Uh, day after Judgment Day, that's in the trailer. Or seeing the, the people dying or whatever, and the, the future that didn't happen, that's again in the trailer. <laughs> that's not giving away anything. If you've seen the trailer, you've pretty much seen major elements of the movie spoiled in the trailer. Um, so, when they do reveal the, uh, the twist, it isn't a twist, because you saw it coming. That, yeah, that's, that, that's not that we knew that it was coming the twist. It's that it's really obvious that's the twist. So they keep they, trying not to say what the twist is, and it's like, no. I can totally tell what the twist is. <laughs> They're too close to the new Judgment Day for it not to be what it is. It's just simple logic. The script's just not that good. Um, I, I did like how they dealt with the uh, whole set, both ends of the Skynet thing. That, that was clever. Um, that was probably... A, a Mark's Carver's moment in there. It wasn't one of mine, though. <laughs> I wasn't in it. There was a moment where the... the, 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 the <laughs> I can't give that away. That's probably the best part. It's messed up. But uh, the, other, the other part... Uh, yeah, they, they... You think they're going to go in the direction of, of the... Uh, them fortifying the house like they did in... Like they did in the, with the crazy lady running the house and stuff in... Uh, like they did in in Halloween, because they obviously saw that movie and they wrote this one, uh, or that they were going to go because Hollywood knows through different studios what's going on. This is Fox and Paramount. Fox after they requisitioned to Disney. This is apparently a story that was out before they did uh, the um, the uh, because it doesn't say Disney on it anywhere. It's Fox and Paramount. And uh, and it's really obvious that that like like they had watched uh, an early screening of of uh, the Rambo movie, and also remembered Logan, and also remembered uh, the other one. Yeah. So they obviously did that, and that's what they did. Um. Yeah. So. <laughs> um. Sure.
uh, a lot of elements are like that in there. That if they had gone with, oh, let's hold up in the house and shoot the bad guy, that would have been right out of Logan and the other one, and you know, and and the Rambo movie. They didn't do that though. They went somewhere else to have the final boss fight. Uh, the plane battle is right out of right out of something else. Um, hold on a second. Um, Buffy Kitty. So yeah, the um, boss fight ends with yeah. There's a plane, a, a cargo plane that does a bunch of stuff like from the Mummy, cross with James Bond, cross with Mission Impossible Ghost uh, Protocol, and uh, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of, of uh, Fallout. You know, there's, there's a lot of elements of other movies in here that did these scenes a little better. And they thought that by making it glossier, it might look better. They did it, but it really is kind of the same thing. So, yeah. I like, see where some of the critics might argue, well, we've seen it before. With every scene that happens, that's why we can guess the twist. That's why, okay, there's going to be a boss fight here, a boss... Uh, a freeway. There's going to be a freeway chase. Of course there is. There's going to be a boss fight in a factory of some kind. There's going to be another one in a larger factory or a dam or power plant or something. So it can do stuff to the bad guy. Uh, there's going to be... Yeah, it's like... It's like Those scenes are like, well... I knew they were going to do that. Um, yeah, so not giving anything away. But that's explained some things. Because it was a Terminator reunion at the Comic-Con and who wanted to keep it all hush hush NDA stuff? I didn't need. I didn't sign any NDA stuff. So. <laughs> um, yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't in it, so I didn't have to. Um, Mark's cards was not in it either. Um, no. Except for that one scene that he inspired, apparently. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, there was a little bit of Dora the Explorer here, a little bit of Bumblebee. Well, a water sequence for a high place with a jump. Um, yeah, very much of that Bumblebee movie last year. Very much like that. So there's a lot of other movies in this movie. It's like they were probably... I'm figuring the committee that wrote this, It had to be a committee that wrote this, not just two or two people. And they were like, okay, we just... We know that this... this Rambo movie is nearly done, and we know the plot of that, and we've seen, like, an early version of it. Let's do that, but with Terminator is. Yeah. And we know, and, and while they were writing it, they're, like, they're watching Bumblebee in the background. They're watching Logan in the background. And they're watching other, the El Topo, and some other ones in the background while they're writing it. And those influenced what they were writing. So, yeah. Um, sure. Now on to the review, uh, rating, the, uh, the, uh, uh, Rotten Tomatoes, since we're vaguely associated with them, uh, we usually score higher than they do. Because, yeah, why not? Um, <laughs> so, um, uh, they gave it a 65-66. I give it a 70-71, a little higher. Uh, it's three stars. It's not bad. It, it's fun. It's fine. Uh, parts of it are, are thrilling enough. It, uh, uh, it has a girl that looks vaguely like the girl from that, uh, the girl from the BSG movies from years ago, uh, but it's not. It's not. It's not Katie Sackhoff. Uh, also looks kind of like the one from the, the Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> the, but uh, the the Call of Duty lady, yeah, yeah, that one. Um, the uh, yeah, uh, pff, sure, yeah. It's not going to be a long review. It's it's fine. Uh, go and see it in theaters. I, I, I vaguely following the NDA. I won't give away plot spoilers. They basically have to defeat the Terminator. There's another Terminator, and, and the term the T101 helps out, but he's like old. It's very yeah similar to Jesus uh, in in some ways, um, but this one he's sort of evil. Yeah. But but re but allegedly redeemed by having a, a family, which is like in the Rambo movie. So they clearly had seen an early print of the Rambo movie they're writing this. Um, I don't know if Rambo was all that redeemed in that movie either. I mean, technically, he's yeah, sure he's got a, a like a, a faux family, but that doesn't mean he's redeemed. Um, 
the stuff that he does in the beginning is like, ah, no, you're not really redeemable. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Same thing here. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's that's uh, the movie. And, uh, the movie. And uh, Terminator yeah. Reboot 3. Reboot of Terminator 3, basically. It's, I think it's 6 now. Six. I think there's one in there that I'm forgetting. <laughs> uh, Salvation. Dark, Dark Fate is the name of this one. It reminds me of the uh, that when the Cinema Stop reviewed the X rated Terminator with, uh, <laughs> with, uh, with Ron Jeremy as, as the men from the future come through town to, to, to come through the past to have sex with Sarah Connor. I think in the parody she's called something else like. Cheryl or something and it's Ron Jeremy and he's all slovenly and stuff. I will stop the Terminator from having sex with you so I can have sex with you. Ugh. It's like, oh, gross. <laughs> but yeah, at least, at least uh, that doesn't happen here. It'd be messed up. Um, that it would be like the Joker movie. <laughs> no, the Joker movie was all, uh, half of half of them was a fantasy. People were complaining about that one, like the the Earl one. Oh, uh, how could he have that girlfriend? And uh, they weren't paying attention. He didn't. He shows up in her apartment. She freaks out. In the end, so yeah. So, and that doesn't happen in this one. But uh, if it did, that would be yeah. It's, it's, damn, judgment day. It does make the question with these movies: Why doesn't someone figure out how the time machine works and use it to erase the entire thing? I was thinking, well, let me know. It's like it's like. Yeah, why don't they? And when does the time travel get invented? All they'd have to do is prevent the machine that invents the time travel. And then the entire series would never happen. Or go back to when the machine was going to be invented and then turn it off. Or show up in the time bubble and just go, Oh, there's the time bubble thing. <laughs> Blow the shit out of it. End of, end of your series. Yeah, Bad guy can't stop that exploding. Unless it's the Matrix. Psst. Anyway, the Terminator moves. I'm sure Lord Red Letter Media will have fun with this. Stone Gremlins has already reviewed it. I've watched only five minutes of theirs. I'm going to watch the rest of it now. Anyway, this is Terminator Dark Fate.